Welcome to week one. So in this video, I'm going to go over what is required for you to do in week one. Here you can see the blackboard for your course. If I go through the uh, course information, you'll see the course outline and course syllabus posted. To get a better, a better understanding of the course syllabus, feel free to watch this video. Um, and this video will go over the course syllabus. You'll notice that in the video, I don't have any chapter readings. However, it is now updated. So in the course syllabus, the chapter readings are included. Okay, let's go to week one. So in week one, which is over here, actually, before I go to week one, I'd like you guys all to do an introductory uh, post over here. And you could do a welcome introduction. And I know most of you guys already know each other. So maybe you have a photo that you want to share um, with the class, an artwork or craft that you completed, maybe a TikTok video. It's just anything. It's a very informal discussion. And because I know most of you know each other, if you don't feel comfortable or if you feel that it's too tedious to write a welcome introduction about you, feel free to do anything um, in any of these ideas or, you know, anything completely separate that you want to share with us. Okay, so let's go back to weekly learning and we're going to go right into week one. So each week, you'll see the learning objectives. You'll have a to-do list so that you know what, what exactly is expected of you. I'll have the PowerPoint and lecture videos, a mini self-check activity. There may be a discussion board and then some other um, things that you may have to uh, complete. So let's go over this. So the first thing I ask you to do is review the course syllabus, which is the video that I just showed you. Then to create a post for the welcome discussion board. That's what I just reviewed with you. Three, please review the weekly learning objectives. So these, these are the objectives up here. Four, please watch the video lectures posted for this week. So right below the to-do list, you'll see a folder and in that folder here, you'll see PowerPoints. And I think there are four videos, yeah, four short videos that I'd like you to watch so that you can have a better understanding of um, today's or this week's content. Following the video, there is a self-check activity that you can do. So all you're doing here is dragging out the correct word into the box. So what does P PICO stand for? So what does the P stand for? Well, P stands for a patient or problem. And oops, and you just drag it to this box. And then once you complete it, you can check your work. So you click on check and it'll say how many you got right. So I got one out of eight right. And I can retry until I get perfect. And I have a week one discussion board. So when you click on this, what you're asked to do is there are three videos. Choose any of the three videos and come up with a PICO question and a null and alternative hypothesis. If you can't recall what these are, go back to the PowerPoint. And I had a, I posted an example of a uh, Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Gets Drunk. I posted that example and I walk you through how to come up with a PICO question and a null and alternative hypothesis. So using the same format, you're to do that with any of these three. Okay, you don't have to do all three. You can if you want, but just uh, one of these three. I hope you enjoy doing this because um, I try to choose um, you know, clips that are relevant to uh, or clips that you could make a PICO question with and, and somewhat uh, funny as well so that you can enjoy watching it. Okay, moving on. After you've posted in the week one's discussion board, review all the assignments for this course. And this is found in the assignments tab. So if I take you to the assignments tab over here, there is a video over here that's basically explaining all the assignments below. And again, if there's something that's not clear, you can ask me over here. So under the general questions and answers, or you could always email me. You could set up a WebEx meeting with me. Um, I'm very open to whatever works best for you. Okay, and then lastly, what I've asked you to do is sign up for the assignment number three topic. So 
there is a sign up sheet here. You would go in the sign up sheet and you'll find a wiki. And in that wiki, if I edit it, I'd like you to sign up for your topic. So whatever topic that interests you, who's in your group, and then when you want to present. Is it week 10 or week 11? More information is found in the assignment video. But that is something that I'd like you to think about. Let's go back. If you want to use your topic from last semester, you are welcome to do so. If you want to come up with a new topic, there. Are, if you click on this um, document over here, there's a listing of many, many different topics that you can choose from. And then part A of assignment two. So in assignment two, there are many sections of the assignment. I want to encourage you to finish part A. It's not due until week 10, but because there are many sections, I'd like to work with it alongside with you throughout the semester so that it's not overwhelming for you at the end. So please watch this video and finish part A of your um, assignment. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much.